Welcome to the final installment and reveal of my contribution into the USAC group build of the Monogram 55 Ford F100. Before I began, I said I think this kit's a turd, and throughout the process of the build, much of it got sent to the burn pile. There was a plan though. I wanted to see if I could build my own version of an early 60s custom truck along the lines of the Rod and Custom Dream Truck perhaps mixed with some Barris Copper Cart, and maybe even some Daryl Starbird Ultra Truck thrown in as well. So the first step was getting one of those monogram orange haulers. Then I found this custom 55 Ford truck image online, and did this rough photo chop to help me get me started. I needed an era-appropriate engine, so I snagged a monogram 56 Thunderbird to satisfy that urge. I also wanted some type of fins added to the bed, then decided to just replace the bed with the rear clip from a 58 Thunderbird, and that's when this project really flew the coop. So here's where we left off last time. I had abandoned the bubble top and thought the 56 Thunderbird top fit the theme better. It's got a long way to go, but I felt up to the challenge. Since I started with a giant pile of poo, it seemed the right thing to do was to head to Splash Paints and order some sparkle gold base coat and some candy root beer to cover it up. While I waited for that to arrive, the hood and the rear deck were scanned into the computer. These don't look all that good, but doing it this way made sure that they were as close to scale as possible. I used those scans as templates to create vector art for some swoopy scallops to be inkjet printed on clear decal paper. The interior tub was painted with Tamiya TS7 racing white and something needed to be done with that center console. So it was covered with bare metal foil, then some fine black pinstripe tape was applied in the recesses. This looked cleaner and was less risky than trying to flow a black wash. After doing a similar process on the door panels, some floor and rear bulkhead inserts were created from plain old printer paper. These were then painted and flocked with a brown-black mix. This method was chosen simply because they were all flat, and this was much easier than masking it. After the paint arrived, it was time to do a thing. Painting candy can be a very tricky process. You must go slow and thin to avoid striping it or having it run from edges. After more than three hours and nearly 20 coats, it appeared to be doing its thing. And now for a moment of truth. The inkjet decals proved to be a challenge, but they had the effect I desired, so I kept on trucking and sealed them with the Splash 2K Clear. While the paint was curing, I found these super cool shrimp fork exhaust tips in my stash of vintage parts so I connected them with some solder and aluminum tube. Next was engine assembly. I decided not to add any wiring since it runs under the exhaust manifolds and with the rear hinged hood, it would be difficult to see. I felt I'd just let the supercharger and multiple carbs speak for themselves. The orange hauler chassis was basically assembled just out of the box. Tamiya gloss black was applied to the frame, and the floorboards were painted with a combination of flat and semi-gloss black. Revell chrome was applied to the exhaust, and Green Stuff World chrome was applied to the front suspension. The 58 Thunderbird has four big round taillights, as does a 59. The 60 Thunderbird has six taillights, and I thought that would be much more custom and would also mimic the exhaust tips. But 60 Thunderbirds are rare species today. I did find this derelict promo on that auction site, and it was certainly turd worthy. It did have the taillight panels and lenses, which allowed me to convert it. They fit the 24 scale holes well enough. The grill was chosen pretty early in the design process, as I thought it would contribute well to the overall theme, so I kept that on the down low until now. The AMT 57 Ford has an optional Canadian market Mercury Meteor Grill is an option. The V in the center even mimicked the original 55 F100 grill. 
custom quad headlights from an original issue AMT 57 Chevy overlay the grill. Custom bumpers were made by sectioning the 56 Thunderbird bumper and repurposing the gun sights as ending points. The interior was assembled as planned, including the chrome uni stick as a shifter. Another custom touch is the ornament between the seats, which was made with more vintage AMT custom parts. I think the rear part of it is from an original issue 62 Impala. The engine fills out its compartment well. Clean, simple, and custom. So there you have it, my finished USAC group build of the Monogram 55 Ford F100 Bird Turd Truck, or you can just call it the Little Turd. I have to thank Matthew at Model Car Videos for choosing this subject, as I don't really think I would have ever built this model otherwise. Building a model is a process with many unknown challenges. Part of the fun is accepting those challenges and coming up with your own unique way of overcoming them. I have to say this was a pretty ambitious project, that I had no idea what would happen, and despite its flaws, the final result is, pr is a pretty cool model that I'm pleased with. I think if we focus on the flaws, with an unreasonable quest for perfection, it just leads to frustration and stress. I've decided that striving for excellence is a far more obtainable goal. Excellence requires risk, spontaneity, and hard work. Let me tell you, doing this isn't easy. And when things don't go as planned, you have to just keep on trucking. To those that finish their models on time, I applaud your efforts. To those that fell short of the deadline, keep on trucking. Finish it. And I hope you learned something from the model building process. I hope you've enjoyed following along my process of building this model. And will tune in to see the next one. Speaking of the next one, I'm wrapping up another model that nobody has even seen yet. To find out what that one's about, please subscribe, comment, like, you know what to do, because I have all kinds of model car stories to tell. Thanks for watching.